Hey YouTube, it's Brian with Grow Powers again. So, I've been, st I already started a little bit here with cleaning, but I figured I might as well film some of it. I'm going to clean up the area here a little bit and show you just how bad this is. Um, for the screws though, I'm just going to pour 91% alcohol into here. And then I'm just going to go like this. I've wiped down this little part of this table after the dusting and you can tell how dirty just by showing you the case and everything how dirty this area got so I am going to finish here I am able to see dust particles flying all around already. I'm not sure you can actually see any of that though. Um, I have my rubbing alcohol, which is 91%. I've got some clean Q-tips. I've got my toolkit. I've got some paper towels. And so we should be good to go as long as we're careful. But again, that's just the table. I mean, that's insane. All right. Now, I did in the downtime go and spray down the case. So the case is clean. It's just drying. Um, I've mostly cleaned the the power supply and I'm just waiting for that to finish up uh, some areas that I got a little wet they're going to dry and then it'll be good to go I'll test it out and make sure everything's running but it should be perfectly fine so let's uh, filter. I forgot this piece when I was doing the case, but that's alright. We can wipe it down, get most of it off just with alcohol on a good towel. There we go. That would be good. Sorry, there's a lot of dust in here because of this. Okay, and this says DVD-RW, so I was hoping that it might be a Blu-ray, but no, it's not. Oh well, it happens. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I'm going to clean up the mess of paper towels and stuff after the fact, so don't worry about that. And I'm trying to use fewer paper towels than I would have before just because I don't want to waste too many. I mean, not as bad as it could have been but it's a lot better now. For some of these larger parts, I am going to continue using paper towels though. I know it's a little bit of a waste of paper products, but I will do my best to recycle and get these not thrown into a landfill. Here in my area, they do not offer um, services for um, for recycling, so I'll have to see what I can do to go out of my way for that one. Because I do, I do find it as a waste. 
to have so much of a issue of, of items that shouldn't be needed. I mean, I shouldn't have had to clean this system this badly. You know, maybe a little bit of air or something like that should have been all that's needed for a computer. This is why you want to clean it on a regular basis. comment and, and if you all comment down below let me know that you're interested in finding out how this performs this card here let me know in the comments section and if I get enough comments I'll do an update video and let everybody know how my wife is doing with it as her Wi-Fi connection hopefully sometime soon we'll be able to uh, get our own house as opposed to renting this house and when that's the case I'll be able to run the Ethernet and we won't have to worry about whether or not she can run Ethernet or not I'm going to save this for the next video, I think, and I think we're going to skip that and go to this instead. But before we do, I am going to go ahead and clean these. Okay, that one wasn't actually that bad. This one was much worse. Not horrible. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go disconnect the cable, pop these up one at a time. I'm assuming that's the original thermal paste. crusty so it has not been changed in a long time. I'm just gonna go ahead and Five six five hundred. So, what to do? What to do? This is not horribly bad. So I think what I'm going to do is just I'm going to run a dry Q-tip over it, and then I'm going to see how that looks. Most part, this is all just loose dirt. I'm not seeing anything that's like cake going or anything.
and we're just using some GD900 compound. It's not anything extravagant, nothing special. Um, this is the same stuff that Brian from Tech Yes City uses on his channel. We just do a pea sized drop. So we're just going to run down the contacts with wet and run down them with dry. Alright. So now we go 20, 40, let's say a total of 130, one 60 for the whole thing. So hopefully I'll get 160 for that one. And that is our i5 cleaned up. There isn't really a whole lot in the way of dirt or anything on it, so I'm not too worried about that part. Um, but this will run just fine. It will work good. New thermal paste means it will last longer and it should keep cooler. We may end up swapping out the Intel cooler for something better, but I don't know for sure yet. But we will get into that in one of our build videos most likely. Next step is the graphics card. So anyway, I do hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you found it informative or educational, make sure that you hit the like button down below. If you have any questions about myself, the channel, or the products, make sure you hit, leave those in the comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button that should be right about this area here. And that way you can keep up to date on our new videos in our community section. And also you can hit us up at Towers Gray on Twitter, and we will respond to messages there as well. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.